case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In an unexpected turn of events, Arthur Anderson LLP appealed the decision. The Court of Appeal had rejected their request for a narrow restraint exception under the same law. According to the court, changes to Section 16600 were in the hands of the state legislature. They also declared Arthur Anderson's efforts to use the termination of non-compete clause as a broad relinquishment of rights, particularly with regard to indemnity rights, to be ineffective. The Supreme Court confirmed this outcome, ruling that the firm's expansive release clause did not relinquish Edwards' indemnity rights as per Labor Code Section 2802. This law compels employers to compensate their employees for any necessary expenditure or losses incurred in the course of their duties or in following the employer's directions. Any agreement that waives these rights, the court stated, would be considered void and against public policy. Furthermore, the court adamantly reiterated that non-competition agreements were generally null and void under Business and Professions Code, Section 16600, excluding few exceptions as set out in Sections 16601, 16602, and 16602.5. In conclusion, the court ruled that the non-compete clause used by Arthur Anderson LLP did not acquit the firm from possible statutory claims that could not be waived. This case therefore serves as a landmark decision, reasserting the rights of employees under Californian law and laying strong groundwork for future court decisions. The case was subsequently referred back to the lower courts for proceedings in line with the Supreme Court's ruling. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class